to my notes oracle dba youtube channel one of our family member has been asked how to do a vertical partition in postgres sql so we are going to discuss in detail table partition as a simple definition the table partition is a process of dividing large data tables into small manageable parts such that each part has its own name and characteristics why do we need to use table partition table partition helps in significantly improve the database server performance as less number of rows have to be read processed and written we can also use partition techniques for dividing indexes and indices organized tables PostgreSQL contains two types of partitioning. One is vertical partitioning, another one is horizontal partitioning. In vertical partitioning, we can divide table into column wise. In horizontal partitioning, we can divide table into row wise. The vertical partitioning is to reduce the I.O. and performance cost associated with fetching items that are frequently accessed in the table. It involves to create table with fewer columns and using additional tables to store the remaining columns. Normalization also involves the splitting of columns across tables but vertical partitioning goes beyond that and partition columns even when already normalized. In this example, we can see a table containing product data. It has four columns. After vertical partitioning, we can end up with two tables, one for, for the first three columns and another for last column. We can link them through a shared key. Let's say the fourth column containing a long description is retrieved very rarely. We could store the second table on a slower medium. Doing this would improve query time for the first table as we need to scan less data for search queries. Advantages of vertical partitioning Relatively slow moving data can be separated from more dynamic data. Slow moving data is a good candidate of an application to catch in memory. Sensitive data can be stored in a separate partition with additionally security controls. Vertical partitioning can reduce the amount of concurrent access that's needed.